we're actually underweight U.S. equities. So uh, we're not uh, expecting any great performance from the S&P uh, near term, albeit it has undershot our target. What we're actually very interested in out here in Asia is the way that our markets are substantially outperforming the S&P. Uh, we upgraded emerging markets end of November and then Hong Kong, China. And if you look at a market like the Hang Seng, which is again holding up quite well this morning, that's outperformed the S&P going on for 13, 14 percent now in the last six or seven weeks. And that tells you quite a bit about how the cycle's shifting more favorably out here in Asia and particularly in China. Uh, saying what? Um, um, can you expand on that a little bit? Well, obviously the Fed, uh, as your uh, earlier commentary was showing, is still hiking um, and still indicating two hikes next year and engaged in balance sheet reduction. China is beginning to ease in really quite a major way. Uh, and overnight, again, we had news on this new uh, medium-term lending facility, a three-year facility specifically targeting lending to the private sector at a new low interest rate of 3.15 percent. We've also had measures uh, coming out of China in relation to property, so easing of the mortgage rate in, in Guangzhou, right next to us here in, in Hong Kong, and in a city in the north, Hergé. And we're also hearing about local government bond issuance being accelerated into January. Uh, so all of this means that the Chinese cycle, or monetary cycle, is diverging from the, the U.S. monetary cycle. Now, there may be some implications there vis-a-vis -vis, uh, FX, um, but broadly, for the markets, uh, where obviously a market like Hong Kong derives its, its earnings you know, almost entirely from, from China these days, the Hang Seng, uh, that's got to be positive when China is easing. Hi, I'm Emily Tan, and thanks for watching CNBC. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more. Thanks for watching.